and all of a sudden they've got to deal with those Azir soldiers and, and, and Lucian and Thresh in their face. Kind of tricky. Without wave clear, it's easy to flank if you have a lot of wave clear, like, like you said, they have no wave clear, right? And it's easy to flank if you have a, a lot of wave clear setting up for those flanks, buying yourself time when, when Gambit is knocking on your door. But at the same time, you know, you don't have the time because they'll just push through mid. And that means they'll, they'll face the Azir wall up front. And my eyes are on Betsy, and the one thing that speaks against him, farm priority number one, Cavishard. Farm priority one number one, Forgiven. Betsy ranked eighth in mid laners to get the farm out of all teams, farm share in the game. That means he has almost nothing to work with while he is the staple. He's the crux of the gamut composition. Well, we will find out so far, if... They could have gotten punished and they survived arguably the roughest part of the game. It looks like uh, some action on bot lane. Wow, this is a 2v2. It's going to turn into a 2v3. We do see the hyperkinetic position reverse. A good teleport from Jaywal is potentially going to set up a kill here. That is a beautiful flash lantern from Gosu Pepper. He keeps Forgiven alive but in the back line. Cabo Shard is teleported in. Now Jaywal is a man out of position. He's forced to flash defensively. Gosu Pepper lands the death sentence. That's a flash pulverized from Promise Q as Cabo Shard is knocked backwards and Froggen joins in for the fray. The this is a five on five party and Betsy is the target. One more lantern from Gosu X Edward. And it's elements that get the kill when everyone comes they to just play. just gonna ignore the towers, you know? Just gonna dive him, just AOE him. But that, that's gonna be hard, you know? So what, Gam what elements wants to do is draw Gambit out, uh, bait him into an objective and then flank him. Well, Froggen and Dexter, they've killed Diamond. So this is a really, really beautiful snowball play. Okay. Yeah, really good rotational play from Gamut here, you know, from mid to top, and now they're going on JWoww. Wow, well, JWoww's caught out, the Nar is available, Nars him into the turret, we saw Taking a flash on the bottom, that tower is secured, JWoww gets taken away, Diamond is going to flash away, continues to survive, summon a heal, Here's Frog Froggen. Forgiven keeps him out, but it's JWoww that gets the kill, we do see Dexter securing one, as now Froggen continues to chase with Hemoplake, the pop, plus the pop, manages to secure it, and it's just kill after kill after kill, Gambit overstay their welcome. Dexter gets two, Froggen gets another. Cabo shot. <laughs> so Gambit with He tried his best. As we set ourselves up for another team fight. Gambit, if they want to pick this one, they're going up against the five. That's the Emperor's Divide. We do see the Hemo Plague down, and Betsy is gone. The Azir turret is trying to slow down the pace, but Gambit have lost another member. And it does look like the fight is going to be happening. Gambit, five members set up. Dexter's been caught out. Diamond Prox sinks the fangs in. Froggen actually flashes forward for this one. Two exhaust back and forth as Froggen is gone. Froggen gets him with the Hemoplake. The Gnar knocks elements against the wall. It's a trade one for one. Hyperkinetic position reverser holds Betsy in place. And Betsy is down as Dexter goes unstoppable at five, zero, and three. They've traded one for two. Well, Gambit have started this one. Elements are a little late to respond. 5,000 HP below half. Dexter's nearby. Flash and Smite are available, down to 1700. Baron's on the back line. It's stolen by Elements. Dexter manages to do it in his opening LCS game. Tabs manages to shut down Diamond and position reverses Betsy back into the middle of the squad as Promiscu boots Goshu Pepper away. The prison locks up Forgiven and sends him back to the fountain. A triple kill for Tabs, a Baron steal for Dexter, and Elements have completely taken Not control of the game. Not strong enough to 1v1 anymore, and the follow 1v1 was something you saw. On SK2. Oh, the invisible elements kill the invisible diamond. <laughs> he almost made it to that land. Alistar super tanky, you know, Tabs, he has a frozen heart, he's an 80 carry with a frozen heart, and they're going in. Well, let's see who they decide to focus. Betsy gets caught up by the Hemoplake, they jump onto Go Super, but Diamonds on the sideline gets a huge Agony's embrace. That's a three-man Gnar up against the wall. Promise Q's in a little bit of trouble, but Froggen is sustaining his way through Betsy's damage. Another kill for Elements, another tower for Elements. And then Froggen maybe a little lower too, and just shows, you know, the strength of the composition from Elements here in the lake. Oh. Oh, 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 we'll ignore that one. Lantern's there, Lantern's not relevant, and he Tabs gets another one. Didn't fail the combo, he ran out of mana for Q. Even then, Elements at this point is so tanky. It's so hard. Promise you going in. Uh, he does manage to get the combo. Betsy instantly throws down the hourglass. The lantern should time out before he can get to it. Not even going to be needed. Now Diamond Prox is in trouble. Elements are just running him down. Gets thrown back into the river by Tabs, who's now 5 0 and 7. Promise Q, another new support on the stage. 0 0 15. More than two times. 
the, the, the Vladimir's done great into the Sazir. I don't know. You should, I, I think give it... Oh, hang on. Froggen's getting caught. Well, let's see. Exhaust is out. Sanguine is available, as is the Hourglass. Froggen holding on to him. Throws down the Chemo Plate. Then he pulls away. Chemo Plate's going to pop. The Hourglass oh. is in a moment. And it's an instant kill there. Now forced to flash away. It's not over yet. Kerbershot gets reversed in, but he's about to become a Mega Gnar. He crunches over the wall. We see Acid Hunter after Acid Hunter connecting. Tabs gets himself to... What looked like a jump on Froggen turned out to be a jump on Gambit. It's not done yet as Dexter has the Glacial Prison. Is he going to throw it out? We do see Promise Cute maybe going to find him. Conqueror, the King of the Sands. I still wants to look. This is a teleport from JWoww as well. That is a massive, massive cow. And the wall is going to keep Dexter out for a moment or two, but it's simply not enough. 22 to 1. Impressed by Promise Cute as well. And, uh... Froggen, the only member returning from Elements with 100% death participation. Wow. Uh, Froggen feeder. One more team fight, and we see Gambit throwing everything at Elements. It's just not enough. Froggen's in trouble. He will go down for the second time. Definitely the feeder on the Elements squad as Elements bite off a little more than they can chew this time around. We've seen two games ending around the 36, 37 minute mark. Elements really just trying to keep up tradition here, I think as they are going to delay this. Promise you comes in to save Tabs. Tabs low on mana. Forgiven looking for more. He's got red buff. That's Good another guy, kill Promiscu. on the board. Promise you, the hype is no longer there. You've given up the third kill of the game. Let's not forget, uh, Gambit went out on search. Some members went out on social media. Said they had a little trouble practicing. But Elements going out for the final push here. Well, that definitely seems to be the case. Cabo Shards doing what he can as Mega Knot. He's going to throw three members of Elements forward as Betsy's going to knock them upward. Cabo Shot does survive until that last Acid Hunter from Tabs. Another kill for Froggen as the Emo Plague is now ticking away. Ghostly Pepper's trying to get out. Froggen is chasing all the way forward. The Hourglass is on the steps, and that's going to be his death. He even pulls away for a few more swag <laughs> points. Elements on the back line, destroying the Nexus. Massive smiles from Elements as they pick up their first win in summer.